I don't come from a running family. Neither of my parents run. They don't understand this still. It still blows my mom's mind that I have to run twice a day every day. I feel really lucky that I know that I have these people in my life that honestly don't care how I race, that they just want me to be happy and healthy because they know if I'm happy and healthy that I'll race well. It's always just been running. I have this little card that I wrote when I was in fourth grade of like, I wish I'll go to the Olympics and win a gold medal. I went to school at University Lake School in Harlan, Wisconsin. I won 12 state titles and a national cross country championship when I was in high school. I got a scholarship to University of Notre Dame where I majored in biological anthropology and pre-med and I won four national titles when I was in college in cross country and indoor and outdoor track. If you are just in a great place mentally and you are like strong and ready to do what you need to do, you can take advantage of opportunities. Running at the Olympics is not just like something that you just decide to do. You have to focus your entire life around this goal. Everything, it takes your entire life to do this. I wouldn't have it, I would never have traded this for anything. It's been a really interesting ride of feeling like your body is a little bit of an instrument and you just have to figure out the right way to tune it. You have to have like this incredible toolbox of things to be able to keep your body moving every single day. When you're doing 130 miles a week, it takes a lot. Pre and post run, I'm doing a ton of mobility, a ton of stretches, like very specific things to hit the different parts of my body that need to be activated or worked through. I think because of this history of injuries and just like struggles, I think I've always seen my running career as a very finite thing. I've had this mental approach of like, I need to get it all right now while it's here. Like strike while the iron's hot, hit it hard right now and don't care about what comes later. I want to keep doing this, hopefully till I'm 35, 40. I'd love to keep doing this for another five to 10 years. And I can't do that in the way that I've been approaching this sport. I need to be a little bit more strategic and kind to the realities of what my body is. I need to work with my body rather than fight against it. I'm gonna try and be the healthiest version of me and I'm just gonna see where that ends up. I might not get a medal out of it. Hell, I might not make the Olympics out of it, but being able to get to that start line of the trials and know like, okay, like I'm in a healthy place where I'm working with my body rather than against it. I think that's the goal now. Wisconsin is kind of a nice reset. It's just like a very calm place for me. It's some place that I can really focus in I feel a little bit more open to training how I need to train and open to experimentation because I think that's like the biggest thing in training that like you're able to kind of look at things big picture. And I think having a family outside of the sport allows me to do that. Okay. I've been sailing since I was like a little kid. My parents started me out like when I was little, little, mostly just to get us out of the house during the summer because you're just on a boat all day. They're like, okay, go have fun. I feel like I picked up a lot of like my racing brain from sailing because we would race and a lot of it is it's angles, it's approach, it's setting up your race five steps ahead of where you're going. And I feel like not enough people appreciate how important that is in running. They're like, oh, running, you just run fast. And I've found that I really thrive in tactical environments. How you attack a course is just as important as how fast you are on the course. And if a lot of times, you might not even be the fastest boat out there, but if you hit it right, you will beat people who are faster than you. I'm really excited to race Chicago. I've never done the Chicago Marathon before. It'll be the first major that I've lined up for in a long time now. My goal with Chicago is to go into this thing and use it as a building block for the trials. 
I only care about the trials here. And everything between now and then is preparing as best I can for that. Yeah, and Chicago was, it timing wise, it just made perfect sense. And my family can drive there. <laughs> When your body is telling you something, like you can't keep ignoring it. No matter how good the opportunities are, how good the money is, what people are telling you, like you need to look after this instrument, number one, because everything falls apart without it.